friends today we are going to learn the first english poem the song of the open road written by walt whitman walt whitman an american poet essayist and journalist born in 1819 in a town called huntington and died in 1892 at the age of 72 he is called father of free verse what is free verse free verse means a poetic technique in which rhyme scheme is not used then he is also called the first democratic poet in america because he enjoyed democracy he supported democratic values and that is why he is called first american democratic poet you can see different type of democratic values in this particular poem the song of the open road it gives us idea about life's journey then wisdom freedom all things are included here in this particular poem in 1855 walt whitman published his first book collection of poems 12 poems were there in that book and this particular poem song of the open road was also a part of that book and the name of that book is leaves of grass so let's start this poem song of the open road actually it is big poem 15 parts are there but only first part has taken for our study let's start and see what things he had mentioned here in this poem line by line we will learn it a foot and light hearted i take to the open road healthy free the world before me a foot actually it is life's journey and he had started his life's journey a foot on foot the medium which he had selected was totally natural so on foot he decided to start his journey and he was very light hearted light hearted means very happy cheerful when he started his journey a foot and light hearted i take to the open road so the road which he had selected for his journey was totally open any hurdles any difficulties were there not there on that particular road so on foot he started naturally he started his journey on foot and he was very happy at that time and the road on which he wanted to go to and started his journey was totally open healthy free the world before me how was that road healthy free now we can say that he is a supporter strong supporter of democracy and that is why democratic values you can observe in these lines healthy in 1776 america got independence and after 43 years later abraham lincoln walt whitman born in america he enjoyed democracy till that moment various president in america established democracy firmly in america people started liking democracy and in which walt whitman was one of them healthy free the world before me when he started his journey life's journey healthy healthy atmosphere was there healthy atmosphere was there means democratic situation democratic values were there in america people got different type of powers different type of things in democracy so total atmosphere was very much healthy they have their different type of opportunities in their hand at that time so totally atmosphere was healthy free democracy provides you ultimate freedom you enjoyed that freedom in democracy 
so the atmosphere he have had at that time was totally free the world before me so free world was there before him healthy atmosphere was there and that is why in that condition he had started his journey the long brown path before me leading wherever i choose now it is after all life's journey and if it is life's journey journey might be very big so long from birth childhood to old age it is a long journey so the long brown path brown path stands for natural things so it is a natural journey you have to start this journey all alone many people are there to support you but at last you have to reach your destination all alone so the long brown path before me leading where ever i choose i have that type of choice to select my way and i select that particular way where i want to go so these are the meanings of this particular words now if you are asked to identify figures of speech in these lines a foot and light hearted i take to the open road healthy free the world before me suppose these two lines are there and you are asked to identify figures of speech open and free these words are having same meaning open and free whenever two different words having same meanings are used in that line it is called tautology so it is example of tautology now look at this the long brown path before me leading wherever i choose l l sound is used beginning sound if beginning sound of a word is same at that time we can say that it is example of alliteration let's see these lines henceforth i ask not good fortune i myself am good fortune here in these lines what whitman trying to say us that henceforth i ask not good fortune on my journey i hadn't asked any type of favor from my destiny good fortune means destiny fate i myself am good fortune i know me very well whatever i will do destiny will give in that way so in my life i have done good work so i am not afraid about what bad fortune as i have done good work my destiny will be definitely good so i myself am good fortune he considered himself lucky one because he hadn't do done any type of wrong thing in his life that is why such type of confidence you can observe in these lines henceforth i whimper no more postpone no more need nothing he was totally confident in his life henceforth i whimper no more whimper whimper means sad cries of pain in my life i hadn't cried at any moment if i felt it is a part of life i accepted that thing if i hadn't achieved anything else i didn't mourn i accepted that thing i whimper no more i was very much satisfied in my life nothing was needed by me in my life i was not greedy i was totally satisfied that type of thing he has mentioned here postpone no more many things i successfully achieved but most of the things i failed i couldn't achieve that things but i hadn't mourn on that particular things many things i had done in my life i hadn't left anything unfinished so i hadn't postponed any work of mine need nothing i am totally satisfied in my life i don't need anything else so that type of satisfaction that type of confidence you can observe in this 
in these lines done with indoor complaints libraries querulous criticisms done with indoor complaints so as a man who lives in family facing different type of problems family problems so i handle my family problems indoor complaints expectations various difficulties in your family so indoor complaints so i handle these problems very well libraries i learn different type of things library stands for wisdom library stands for knowledge so as i started my journey different type of things i learned in that journey libraries i learn valuable things in my journey querulous criticisms querulous querulous criticism means cross oppose anybody else so many times i was crossed opposed by people followers by accepted i accepted all their these things wholeheartedly criticism criticism means comments on whatever poems he had written so many times my critics commented badly on the things which i have written i accepted these comments so i handled all these things i handled family problems i handled i learned different type of things on my journey i handled those people who terribly opposed me i handled my critics also so i handled i experienced all these things strong and content i travel the open road strong and content i was very much strong physically mentally i was strong and content content mean full satisfaction i was totally satisfied satisfaction means short time happiness contentment means long lasting satisfaction so strong i was very much strong physically mentally i was strong and i was totally contented i travel the open road whenever i travel on that open the road free road i was totally strong and totally satisfied so these are the meanings of these lines now if you are asked to identify figures of speech in these lines henceforth i ask not good fortune i myself am good fortune good fortune good fortune two times this this word is used in this line that is why it is repetition in the repetition same words are used henceforth i whimper no more postpone no more need nothing ideas are arranged in ascending order whimper postpone and need nothing so it is example of climax so ideas are arranged in ascending order now you can say that it is also example of alliteration because an sound is repeated here in these in this line so an n it is alliteration look at this line done with indoor complaints libraries querulous criticisms so it is also ideas are arranged in ascending order so you can say it is example of climax so these are figures of speech included in these lines the earth that is sufficient i don't want the constellations any nearer the earth that is sufficient everything is available on this earth earth is always contented in the same way i am also contented the earth that is sufficient for your journey earth is proper place i don't want the constellations any nearer constellations means fate destiny i don't want the constellations any nearer he himself considered that he is a hard worker and because he was a hard worker he is a great poet we are enjoying his poem now in this age so he work hard at that time that is why his hard work keep keeps him alive in this age also so i don't want the constellations any near easy success i don't want so 
the same thing is given here i don't want the constellations any nearer by doing simple things and destiny favors on me no i don't want that type of easy success easy gain i know they are very well fair they are how to bring destiny in your favor it is only through your hard work so through hard work you can gain lot of things and you make destiny to your favor i don't i i know they are very well where they are how to bring destiny in your favor i know it very well and it is only through your hard work you can change your destiny i know this suffice for those who belong to them i know this suffice for those who belongs to them only destiny favors those people who work hard who seriously doing their jobs very well so i know this suffice adequate things they prop sufficient thing they got in their life those people who work hard in their life so i know they suffice for those who belongs to them so who deserve luck favor good fate only those people favors that those who work hard in their life so only these things he had given here in these lines and still here i carry my old delicious burdens i carry them men and women i carry them with me wherever i go still here i carry my old delicious burdens delicious burdens delicious means his whatever things he had enjoyed in his early life sweet memories which he carried with him in his mind so still here i carry my old delicious burdens you have to carry all these things till you breathe last so he said it a burden but it is a burden called delicious so it is delicious burden so still here i carry my old delicious burdens you carry memories various types of memories with you if these memories are sweet it is delicious so these sweet memories which i carry with me it is delicious burdens i carry them men and women i carry them with me wherever i go i carry them i carry all these things men and women i met various men and women on my journey and i experience different type of things from them i learn good things from them so this experience i carried i carry them men and women i carry them with me wherever i go delicious burdens that is sweet memories and men and women good experience knowledge he carried with him wherever he goes so wherever he go he carried these things two things with him i swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them you can't remove these sweet memories experiences in your life from yourself as you experienced anything else if you learn new things it remain always permanently in your mind so i swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them i can't can't remove these sweet memories these experiences which i had taken in my journey i am filled with them and i will feel them in return i am filled with them i learn different type of things i experience different type of things and that is why new type of things i learn i am filled with them i become a good human being so these experiences made me good human being and i will feel them in return how will i return back whatever i learn from these men these women i will return it through my work of art my poems my writings so in this way he concluded this poem first part of that 
some of the open road poem so in return i will give whatever experience i have had through my poem to my readers to the people who are reading my poems who are loving my poems so it is end of this poem now if we are asked to identify figures of speech in these lines still here i carry my old delicious burdens i carry them men and women i carry them with me wherever i go so carry i carry i carry these words are used three times that is why you can say that it is example of repetition i swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them i am filled with them and i will feel them in return so sorry i carry them men and women association of opposite words is called oxymoron so two opposite words are used there in this line that is why you can say it is example of oxymoron so these are few figures of speech in this particular lines thank you very much